I did not release 25 billion Naira military pensioners fund to Defense Minister Better Edu says. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we we'll post our GC news update. Please click on the notification bell. The Minister for Humanitarian Affairs and Poverty Elevation, Dr. Beta Edu, has refuted the news that the ministry has released 25 billion naira military pensioners fund directly to the Defence Minister, Mohamed Badaru. Beta Edu reacted to the alleged news in the media. Beta Edu reacted to the alleged news in the media has been drawn. Okay, news in the media has been drawn to fake news. Making rounds on the media and public places, alleging 25 billion naira purportedly meant for the retired military pensioners from the conditional cash transfer fund has been given to the Minister of Defence, Mohamed Badaru Abubakar. In a press release issued by the Ministry, the Minister of Humanitarian Affairs urged the general public to disregard such reports as not only fake, deliberate, and malicious attempts by mischief makers. Disgruntled elements and enemies of the renewed hope agenda of the present administration to tarnish the image and integrity of the Honorable Minister. The statement ordered, for the record, at no time did the Honorable Minister for Humanitarian Affairs and Poverty Elevation give or contemplate giving funds meant for the pensioners of the retired military personnel of the Nigerian Armed Forces to ministers or ministries. For the avoidance of doubt, 17,077 veterans and 264,560 pensioners lists were submitted to the National Social Safety Nets Coordinating Office, NASCO, in the third week of November, and the process of in-person verification of the names submitted by the Nigerian Legion and the pensioner group is still ongoing. Similarly, the office responsible for the verification of the register under the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs and Poverty Elevation is doing a painstaking job of working with the World Bank. All the captured retired veterans who meet the criteria and pensioners will be paid once the rigorous verification exercise is completed. The members of the public, especially the media, are hereby informed that the ministry has not released or planning to release any money meant for the renewed hope cash transfer to any individual or group. In line with the directive of President Bola Ahmed Tunumbu, all funds confirmation of the beneficiaries' details are to be sent directly to them through their bank accounts and is verifiable. The good intention of Mr. President to expand the National Reg Social Register and commence payment of the 25,000 Naira for three months to accommodate the veterans of the Nigerian Armed Forces, which is a novel idea and the first of its kind in the history of Nigeria, should be appreciated by Nigerians and not allow themselves to be distracted or misinformed by naysayers. Now, story nine be this one. The one will be say people see. I beg, did anybody say the 25,000 Naira promised by the government to anybody? What are they saying? They think we are stupid. I've told them, when it comes to this thing, when it comes to palliative, you see food, mm -mm. it will not work. You will see pe somebody that can comfortably feed himself, feed his family, mm -hmm. and his even relation. We sit down on top of the food that they gave him to share people. And we'll, you know, at a time, go and start selling. This is not telling people it's true now. Look at what happened during COVID. Didn't you people see? Where they bring one drinker of rice? I mean, I have drinker. I mean, a, a mudu. One mudu of rice. No, no, no. Mudu even big. Could they mudu? They're not rich now. And they were sharing it. And they were saying, okay, one compound. How many? That, how many? What we said, I use the, the bread and bring the playbook. Come on now. It won't work. You see food. You see money. People go steal them. People go steal the money. Then go pocket them. That is why I am saying, you see, during this period, period of subsidy, if they want to even come out, before I even go to the main news, if they want to come outside and say they are giving anything, it should be 
that the fuel will reduce. This is why they tell you not be true. They would tell us, oh, it is going to take a period of six months to nine months or a period of nine months to 12 months or a period of 12 months to 15 months that this um, gnashing of teeth that we are going to stay with will last for. Then and the, on the 16th month, they will call the particular period that Nigerians will start buying their fuel for 100 naira to me. I never see palliative we pass that one. Now the palliative, where would they wait for be that? So that the prices of food will drop, the price of transportation will drop, the price of everything, people go feed, breathe down, small. To me, nothing person. If you are coming out to say you are sharing food, you are just deceiving yourself. Me and you know that these people know that they are deceiving themselves. If you come outside and say, eh, you are distributing money, me and you know, say they are also deceiving themselves. So what are you saying? Now, let me say this. For better, I do for this particular, this thing, for what they are saying, that they carry the military for and give. At this point, we don't even know who to believe. But we certainly know that politicians or ministers or these people, what they call, see, for truth, not they for their mouths. If they tell you good morning, you're supposed to go to your house, open your door, open your window, check. Share out it. Uh -huh. it uh, money don't reach. This thing I'm telling you, you know this things. So if you are coming out to tell us that it is lies, <laughs> and you are sorry to bust your bubble, I mean, do not believe, we know they believe in these days. That is just the truth. Like I said, the best ever thing to share is to bring, as I make petrol, go back to 100. I've been in Nigeria, they speak on my mind, I don't speak on my mind. Uh -huh. That is the thing. But say you want to come and share one twenty five thousand and I thought they can come. It's not even enough to buy one bag of rice. You understand? People will say okay, it will be enough to buy one quarter. If you have a family of four people or five people, how that that quarter? How how many days will it not even reach you one? Call a day two, call a day two weeks now. Uh uh. Yes. The people who rise is the national sub. Uh, uh, what they call national anthem in their house. Why? Because. You get rice, you put on crayfish, you put on your seasoning, you put on salt. So you don't put seasoning, put on crayfish, put on, what's it be saying? This uh, leaf, put on, what's it You don't do your rice, you don't go where you go. You understand? You get small stew, you, you get palm oil, you use it. This thing has to tell you, now be the truth. So yes, if you are coming out to say, ah, eh, oh, they say that you carry the form more and you give somebody, you, I'm so sorry to say, say this to you. Ah, we do not believe you. You do not believe you now. You don't put yourself for that position. If air drones the economy, able to stop its allies, the ease of looting and corruption, nothing like that will happen. People just need better life and not just suffering. Life without security, no matter who is the leader. If he stops bribing citizens with donations, he will start to realize the people around him are not just but people who, people who position to benefit through stealing, to stealing donations. All right, on this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for telling in to listen. Until I come, you'll be next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.